Since I purchased this Benjamin 392 about a month ago, I've had a blast shooting it. I've also been somewhat obsessed about finding out as much as I could about this great little rifle. A lot of people own this gun, and there's quite a bit of information about it on the net. I've read several. I've read about a mod for the trigger, for improving the trigger on several forums, and several interesting discussions about upping the power output. Thinking that I might be hunting with it this fall, I came up with the following experiment to see what kind of energy gets delivered to a downrange target. I cut a quarter inch piece of plywood into four inch strips. I then made four targets. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I then made four targets, each consisting of three strips of plywood nailed together. I nailed the target to a piece of 2x8 and set the targets up one by one, 25 yards downrange. Why 25 yards? I figured that was about as far away as I'd be able to hit anything with the factory open sights. One more thing about the targets. I tried to make them identical with a nickel sized bullseye six and a half inches up from the bottom. Here's my test target again to better illustrate my setup. You see before you the results of my test. My plan was to shoot three pellets at the first target with three, four, and five pumps. I figured at three pumps and four pumps the pellets would drop quite a bit, but at five pumps they should start to flatten out. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. The four pump pellet Looked to be a bit of a flyer, so I tried a second one, but got exactly the same results. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Expecting that at five, six, seven, and eight pumps, the pellets would be flying pretty flat, I decided to make individual targets so that the impact from one pellet wouldn't distort the results of the next pellet if they landed next to each other. And as you can see by looking at the targets, once I got to five pumps, at 25 yards, the pellets are pretty much on the same trajectory. Five is maybe a little low, but six, seven, and eight are pretty much all right in line. And I shot two pellets on number eight because the one on the right, the pellet, I think maybe was a little distorted, so I decided to try, try it again. Uh, pretty much in the same line. My rifle is sighted in at 10 or 11 yards, uh, which is the distance of my basement range where I do most of my planking. The test shows that once I get to six pumps, the sight is also on target at 25 yards. Now let's take a look at the impact results. Okay, here's three, four, and five. Uh, at three, I almost penetrated the plywood, but the, the pellet just bounced off. Four, the pellets bounced off there too, but they're almost all the way through. Five, the pellet uh, is completely embedded in the plywood. And as you can see, it, it made a dent in the next board. That's, that's what five looks like. Okay, once I get to six pellets, you can see now I'm right on line. So this, this is where my three pump pellets hit at 10 or 11 yards. And the six pump pellet is embedded in the wood. In fact, it's, yeah, it's coming out the other side and has made a pretty good dent in the second board. Seven pumps, you can see that thing landed just about exactly where the six pump pellet landed. It's embedded in the board. Coming through the other side, and you can see it makes about the same dent as the six pump pellet. And I get the eight pumps uh, still right on line. It's punching through the first board. It makes a pretty good dent in the second board. And you can see it's almost starting to punch through the second board. So what have I learned from this experiment? Well, one, at 25 yards, five pumps would probably be okay for plinking, but you'd need at least six pumps uh, 
to guarantee a humane headshot kill. Two, this rifle sighted in at 11 yards is also sighted in at 25 yards with at least six pumps. Three, with six to eight pumps, enough energy gets delivered to the target for headshot kills on squirrel size game. And four, 25 yards might be just beyond my limit for accurate shots. Oh, by the way, I, I use these Premier, Crossman Premier Ultra Magnum hunting pellets, which I think are 14.3 grains. Thanks for watching, and I welcome your comments.